Okay, so I was just about to make a video and then I was like, I'm thirsty. And then I thought I'd psych you all out by doing this. Actually, that milk tastes really weird. But it's brand new. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna drink that. I'm exhausted. This is my hair, like on a daily basis. It's like, ugh. yeah, that is she. Whatever, it's done. I should do hair tutorials, really. If you have curly hair, just let it go completely fucking wild and uh, then alter your personality to fit your hair and no one will have anything to say about it. So my little cousin, his name is Brady. He is 10, nine, something like that. I'm all uncomfortable in my chair, you know? Yeah, so he's like nine or ten, or there goes my phone. I am not gonna get on with this video tonight. My little cousin Brady, he's like nine or ten years old, and I went over to his house, and usually he's like a very boy's boy. I mean, like, this kid plays hockey nonstop. He always has since he was like four years old. Actually, funny, funny thing is, is when he was like four years old, he, um... My aunt was emptying out his gym bag, like his big, gigantic hockey bag. Those things are huge. It doesn't matter if you're four and your equipment's like this big. You still have a massive ass hockey bag that is big enough to fit the body of three strippers in. I didn't say that. So Brady's like four years old at the time and my aunt like pulls a jock strap out of his bag and she's like, Brady, when's the last time that your jock strap went in the wash? And I was like, oh, this is so mint. Brady, what's this? What's this? And he's like, it's my jock. Leave it alone. That's ooh, gross. That's mine. And I was like waving it around and being like, is it a headband? Do you put it on your head? And he was just really grossed out about it. Anyways, so Brady is like nine or 10 years old now. And I went over to his house the other day and he had like some bangs, like just kind of all a little bit curled off this way, whatever. And I was like, what is that? So I asked my uncle, like, what's going on with Brady's hair? He's got this girl thing going on. And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, it's kind of gross. And he's like, yeah, I completely agree. Um, he wanted it like that. I'm like, well, don't let him have it like that. And he's like, well, it's his hair. So Brady comes into the room and I'm like, Brady, do you like Justin Bieber? And he's like, no, no, I hate that guy. I hate him. Oh, he's so gross. Blah, blah. Uh, why is your hair cut like Justin Bieber hair? It's not, it's not. It's just cut like my friend's hair, okay? This is how my friends have their hair cut. Yeah, Brady, you look a little bit like Justin Bieber right now. And, uh, and he was, he was really pissed at it. And, uh, I got his way of showing me that he was pissed was all like flipping his hair to the side which I found really entertaining because that's, I see so many guys doing that lately. Like you go to the mall and every single guy who's between the age of like 10 and 25 at the mall is, is flipping his hair to the side. And I'm like, what? I don't even flip my hair. It looks fucking stupid when I flip my hair. Cause look at that. I feel like I'm a horse. Actually, if I went around flipping my hair, I'd be like, <laughs> that was so wrong. This milk is going to get warm and then it's really going to taste bad. I don't get what the deal is with all of this like teenage boy stuff like you get all of these teenage boys coming into the movie scene I can't even name that oh actually wait I can uh Efron Zac Efron that guy so you get teenage movie stars like Zac Efron and then like Justin Bieber who's not a movie star but wouldn't made a movie anyways um and they come on the scene and everyone's like, oh my god, they're so hot. I get it. Small, like, 12-year-old girls are like, oh, this guy is so hot. He's so great. I wish I could meet him, blah, blah, blah. But what really weirds me out is when you get the mothers of those girls who are trying to be, like, really cool. And I don't just mean, like, cool in front of their kids. I mean cool, like, cool in general. They're the kind of mothers that wear those, like, cut-off shirts and the little tiny capri pants. It looks stupid on anyone. You have got to be six feet tall and weigh 90 pounds to rock capris. Really, you do. It's always those women who are like oh man that kid is so hot and I'm like do, do you do you hear what you just said kid he's a kid that guy is he could be your son and you're telling me that he looks hot it really weirds me out like I don't understand how you can find any kind of sexual attraction in a kid who is the age of someone that could be your son Justin Bieber okay he's like 
a smooth looking kid. I don't really know how else to explain it. But if you put that stupid haircut on a lot of guys and don't show half of their face, they're all gonna look pretty much the same when they're that age. So I don't understand the whole this kid is so hot thing because it just, uh, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, even Brady, like, he looks a little bit like Bieber with his hair cut all like this. And, and when it, if, if you shave both their heads, I'm sure that they would look nothing alike. You know, you know what the sad thing is? Is that my aunt, not, not the mother of Brady, because she's actually rather sensible. <laughs> if you could call it sensible. But, uh, no, like, I have other aunts who are the kind of people who would be like, Oh, Justin Bieber is so hot. And the worst thing is, is that they, they are the kind of women who would totally go for it if Justin Bieber, like, knocked on their door one day. That's disgusting. I shouldn't talk like that about my own family, should I? You all think everybody in Canada is a hick now. We are not. It's what happens when you have, like, 30 ants in your family. No, really. My mom had, like, like, she's got, like, an extended family of, like, 12 or 13 brothers and sisters. And my dad has, like, six. So it's like when you have that many people all in one family, you're just bound to have a bad seat. It's just statistics, right? My phone likes to go off tonight. Uh, no, I cannot think for shit, but it's okay. Cause I'm typing a message on the phone. I am a sad, sad character. Blah, 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 random garble. If you're a guy out there and you have the Justin Bieber haircut, can you please try and justify it? I mean, post a video or send me a comment or send me a picture, you know, like something like that and try and justify the reason why you think you look better without half of your face showing. I mean, really, that's all that you're doing. If you're, if you're cutting your hair like that, you're just hiding half of your face is how I put it. And like, I, I mean, I look completely different with bangs too. I could show you pictures of myself and I don't look like myself at all. And I'm sure that when I do have bangs, I look a lot like a lot of other girls. And you'd be like, hey, she looks like so-and-so. She looks like so-and-so. It's just, it's kind of, it feels like a farce to me, you know? And I'm going to so eat those words if I ever cut like bangs on myself again. Except you know what's dumb? If you have curly hair and you have bangs and your bangs are all like, wait, wait for it. Yeah. That's me, like, with bangs. I look like Ferris Bueller's sister. I look like a dog and these are my ears. I look like an 80s failed rock star. Yeah. Anyways, I'll spare you all from that from now on. Oh, see, this is a hairstyle that I like to call. I whipped it up in three seconds and then put my alligator clip into it. All these hair tutorials, like, they have hair tutorials for everything on YouTube now. Like, is that, huh? Yeah. No, really, though. They have hair tutorials for, like, everything on YouTube now. If you look up, like, messy bun, there's a woman on there who's like, yeah, in order to get your hair in a messy bun, you've got to brush it this way, do this with it, separate it this way, take a bit of hairspray, spray it up here, take a few strands out, back comb it. Uh, yeah, okay, if you want a messy bun, bun in your hair just tie your hair up in a bun without any care in the world and there you go you have a messy bun I mean like I guess you could play with it a little bit if it doesn't look the way that you want it to like this big lump here or whatever tie it back but come on in the end a messy bun is a messy bun you don't need like a 10 minute instructional video on how to mess up your hair enough to put it into a bun that looks like you roll out of bed I mean really there's no reason there's no reason for that yeah I'm so popular tonight uh-huh that's what I, I do. I ask people to text me while I'm making videos so y'all think I'm popular. Anyways, yeah. Nothing in particular to say. I, uh, oh, oh, except for that I have lost all the videos that I made to put up and so now I have to remake them and some of them were so good. But yeah, that's all. Have a good night, everybody. Enjoy the sleeping bit. I'm so cool. Yeah. Right? Not. Right? Not. Right?